fellow creators and mom entrepreneurs, welcome to another Divi tip. So today we're going to talk about equalizing column heights in Divi. But I want to explain what we're doing. So for this year, I will be posting a new tip every month, and then we'll see how it goes after that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any tips. And if you have a question like the one I'm going to answer today, let me know in the comments below or head on over to my website and you can email me from the website. So as a mom entrepreneur, you need your own website, but I know you're on a budget and you can't hire someone to do it for you. So I want to give you the tools you need so you can do it yourself. If you make this initial investment, into your hosting theme and your learning, it will save you a lot of time and money in the years to come. Okay, so let's get into our topic today. I saw a question in one of my Divi groups, and that is actually the inspiration for many of these Divi tips, (laughs) what people post in in some of the Facebook groups I'm on. And we need to talk about this. So the question was, when is Divi going to get rid of equalized column heights? It doesn't work. Well, let us talk about this most misunderstood feature. One that does indeed work if you know how to use it. So let's cast off the mystery. And I am going to show you how to equalize the column heights so that it works for you. Okay, so let's get back to our website that we created for our other playlist, How to Create a Website for Beginners, and I will leave that in the description below. So I've added some slider modules to our packages homepage. And as you can see, they are all different sizes. But wait, equalize column height, where is that? And spacing, nope, it's in sizing. Always, you know, equalized column heights is on. So why are they still uneven? And so this is the reaction I've given. This is a reaction a lot of people give. It's like, okay, and this is why they, many people reach the conclusion that it just doesn't work. So what I have here are sliders, but they will work This will work with any module that has the equalized column heights. So here's what you do. So I am going to show you where this background color is. Now, the reason they're different sizes, let me explain this, is because this is responsive. So the size of the the slider module is responding to the amount of text here. So as you can see, there's... Um, different amounts of text in each module. And so it is resp- the module, and that's the gray box, remember that, the module is responding to what's inside of it. So right now, we're just going to click on this module here. And if you go in, because it's a slider, so you can have more than one, but we just have one here. So here's where the color is. And I wanted you... Uh, I wanted you to see this, so keep that in mind. So that was the module. But now remember, it says equalize column height. It does not say equalize module height. And so that is where most people get it wrong. We'll just say it. (laughs) We'll just say it. So that is where uh, it's misunderstood. So let's go into the column. Okay, we're going into the first column here, and we're going to go into background, and I am going to add our tan color so you can see it. So now you can see it is this, the uh, column is the same height as the one next to it. So let's just do that for all of them. So we're going to add the same background color. Now you're not seeing it here because this is the... Um, this module is setting the height for the entire row because it has the most text in it. Okay, and so let's go to the third one. So you need, 
whether you use a picture, a background color, and we're using a background ground color, or anything else you can put in the background. If you want to add a gradient, image, video, this is new. I haven't tried the background patterns yet. So see, you can see that it's going behind even the modules. So we're going to just trash that pattern. And a background mask. Let's see. What do we have? So it's just a layer blob. Okay. Because these are new features. I haven't looked at them. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. So now, now that we've added the color to the right place, let's go delete the colors in the module. And remember, there's a lot of places to put background images and colors. So sometimes you just have to look for them because like you could put it here for the slider setting, but that's not where our background is. It's actually in the slider. So by putting it in the slider, if we had different sliders, we could give them each individual background colors. So that's why you would do that there. Okay. So you can see there's our tan color again. And let's get rid of this background. Piece of cake. So now, save our changes. Okay, now at least all of the columns are, are looking the same height. As you can see, there might be some more like centering with the buttons, but we're not doing that in this video. That is not what this video is about. So this is just a quick tip. And so your quick tip was how to equalize column height. So we did that and there's more that you can play with as far as margin and padding around the button and stuff to bring it down if you wanted the buttons all in a row. So, but you'll have to go figure out that one because we're not doing that this time. <laughs> so, oh, that is how you equalize column heights. I know it's one of those things that is going to be, oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? This was so simple. So I have demystified the mystery of this feature that never seems to work. And you now know how to equalize your column heights. So I hope you enjoyed this quick Divi tip. Be sure to check out the playlist and I will leave that link below. And if you need to build a website from start to finish, then definitely check out how to create a website for beginners. You have at least 10 videos on there and I show you how to do it in Divi and the different features and different things you can do and use and all of that good stuff. So be sure to check out the other videos. And if you have any questions, if there's a Divi theme question that you are just dying to know, let me know what it is and I will try to answer it in one of the next Divi tips.